welcome to this tutorial in beginning how to use AutoCAD. Uh, first thing we'll do, we'll get straight into it. We're going to draw a, a wall and we'll use a few different commands um, through doing that. So the first thing you want to do is draw a line. Most of AutoCAD's uh, work is done with lines. Now up top here you can see that you can click on line to start the line command but at the bottom here um, it's also possible to type in what you want AutoCAD to do it's called the command prompt um, I generally like to use that so to do that the shortcut is L and then you press space or enter they both do the same things in AutoCAD space and enter so now it's asking us for the first point at the bottom here so just click anywhere on the screen okay that's our first point now you can see that the um, line is just sort of bending around anywhere I put the mouse um, with a the wall generally straight so what we can do is turn on a mode called Ortho, which um, basically allows you to draw straight lines, um, just like you would with an old drawing table. So to turn on Ortho, press F8. You can also click on it, on and off, down here on these buttons. So it's on, and as you can see, when I move the mouse, it's wanting to move in a straight direction. So let's type in uh, 5,000, uh, which is millimeters. I'm working in millimeters, uh, which is equivalent to 5 meters. And as you can see, we have a line that's 5 meters. Um, if you can't see your line, double click on your middle mouse button to zoom to extents, or you can type Z at the command prompt press enter or space and then press E and enter or space and that's the same thing zoom extents okay let's add a, a bit of a corner to this wall um, but before we do that we want to be able to snap to the end of this line so to do that we'll open up uh, what's called object snaps so type OS at the command prompt press space or enter and here you can see a whole bunch of different uh, snaps that you can have on um, I re really recommend using endpoint and midpoint um, to, at the beginning so make sure they're ticked and make sure object snap is on so if that's all set click OK now if we start the line command again I'll use the uh, toolbar this time uh, it asks us to pick the first line. Now, if you hover your mouse over, a square comes up, and that's telling you that it's going to snap to the endpoint of that line. So as we go to the middle, it's going to snap to the midpoint, and at the bottom, same thing, snap to endpoint. So let's snap to the endpoint on the top. So now it's highlighted. Left click, and let's drag that wall out 7,000 which is seven meters so doing it working in millimeters okay now this wall is a bit plain we need to add some thickness to it so now we're going to use a command that you'll use an awful lot and it's called offset now to offset um, I usually just use the command prompt now by typing O for offset and hit space or enter now it's asking us what the distance is so how far we want this wall to come out let's type in 240 that's a uh, standard brick veneer uh, wall here in Australia so now after typing in 240 and pressing space or enter it asks us which objects we want to offset so as you can see when I highlight over the line changes into a type of dash line that's saying it's a possible selection so let's click that with left click of the mouse button 
and now asks us which side we want to offset to. So if I click to the right, it offsets to the right and vice versa to the left. And we'll do the same thing while the command is still active to the top one and we'll click down and press space or enter uh, to finish the command. You can also get out of any command you're in by pressing escape twice. Um, just handy to know that sometimes. Now we can see that this wall here needs to be uh, trimmed. We can do that with two things. One is the trim command and another one is called fill it. Um, we'll try the trim first. So type TR at the command prompt for trim or you can use the uh, button up the top here. So press space or enter and click both lines and what that's doing is telling you that these two lines will be used um, as a cutting line um, for what we're going to trim. So once we've selected those two lines, press space or enter. Now click the things you want to delete. So click that one and that one. And as you can see, we have a nice corner. Um, another way to do that, so if we go undo, to undo, you type U and press enter and press enter again and press it until you get back to what we had before. Now the other command is fill it. Now you, you can see it up here. So you can click on that or type F uh, at the command prompt and click the first line, click the second line. And as you can see, it's done the same thing, just a different command. Uh, fillet can also do curves uh, when it joins the lines, but we won't worry about that right now. Um, so we've got a bit of thickness to our wall. Now, say we want to put an opening for a door or a window. There's a couple of ways we can do that. We can use the offset command again. So Say we wanted to have a opening along this line about two meters away from the edge. We can offset, type two and a half thousand or two and a half meters, and offset the line. And then we can offset that line again, say 900 for a door opening. And now we can use our trim command again. So up here on the um, the button or type TR. So what we're going to do now, we're going to click the mouse button, keep it held down and as you can see a window pops up. So highlight all the areas we want the opening to be, then let go and it's selected all those lines as a cutting plane. Now press spacebar or enter. Now select the bits you don't want. So again left click and I'm just dragging out a window here and there. So as you can see that was pretty easy to put an opening in. Now uh, we can add a bit more thickness to these walls. So we'll offset again and we'll do 90 this time for a stud wall. 90, 90, and 90. And as you can see, the trim command wouldn't work here, but we can do two things again. We can use the fillet command, so F for fillet, enter a space, and then select the two uh, lines that we want to join. So we just go back, undo that. We can also use um, another command called extend. So so the other way we can get these two lines to meet is using the extend command. One thing though, if the um, value for edge mode isn't one, it won't work. So let's do that now. Type edge, E-D-G-E, -E, mode, M-O-D-E, hit enter and press one and hit enter or space. That just makes sure the edge mode is set to 1. So you'll see what happens in a moment. So let's extend this. Type EX space or enter. 
select both lines, then hit space or enter, and now just click those lines. And we've extended those lines, as you can see. If edge mode wasn't set to one, those lines wouldn't have extended. So, yep, that's the beginning of that. Now let's add a, another opening, trying a different method. We'll add a, 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 another opening just down on the sidewall. So, last time we used offset, um, but this time I want to use what's called polar tracking. Um, so the way that works is, let's start our line command. Okay, now press F11 to make sure it's on. You can also click this button down the bottom here for object snap tracking. So make sure that's on. Now go over to the edge of uh, the endpoint here on the line, and a little cross is shown just inside. And you can see as I'm stretching out, there's a sort of rubber band line coming out. Now if we while that's doing that, if we enter a dimension of two and a half thousand again, it shows us our line point starts two and a half meters from the point that we were highlighted over. Um, and then we can uh, snap onto that wall. Now, in my um, drawing, the perpendicular line was snapped in object snap. If yours isn't um, selected or not doing what I'm doing, not getting perpendicular, hold down control, hold, and then press the right mouse button, and you'll bring up a menu, and you can then um, select on perpendicular, and then you can click there, left click, and space or enter to get out of the command, and from there we can then offset another. 900 and then using trim mode TR select all that and hit space and then just drag a window over all the bits we want to get rid of there we go we have a basic walls and um, openings uh, now that just shows you a few commands that you use uh, quite a lot in AutoCAD um, so hopefully that is uh, a first lesson. We'll give you somewhere to start from. Thanks for listening.